Keith, Simon, uh, can you really believe it's 25 years ago since Brentford lifted the title? Uh, you've been in lots of teams that have had good dressing room spirit, you know what's required. What was it about the 92 team that was so special? I think you're right there that we had a, we had a group of players that wanted to work hard for each other. Uh, we, we, we were really close as a group. We demanded of each other, but we also had good players. Um, we had goal scorers in the team. We had a real good balance to it. Um, when I look back now, I mean that was one of the strongest teams that I played in, certainly in the dressing room, but also as a, as a team. Yeah, absolutely right, Keith. Uh, I'm going to ask about Simon, and Simon, I'm going to ask about Keith. What was it about Simon Ratcliffe in midfield, right back, centre half, even maybe sometimes? Well, there was um, there, there, one, there was one of them tackles yes, in the first half there when the bloke went flying in. It reminded me of Simon. He, he uh, no, he, he was aggressive. Uh, he won the ball for us, and but, but used it as well. But uh, certainly the tenacity of him uh, was a big asset to the team. Absolutely. Let's talk about this guy. The, the, the fans used to say, you'll never beat Keith Millen. So uh, let's talk about Keith and his contribution in that season. Well, I think when you talk about Keith, certainly when I played with him, you have to talk as a pair. And him and Terry that played together, Terry was very strong and aggressive and good in the air. Wasn't the quickest, but didn't lose many races. But Keith supported him and swept around. And, 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 so, and they worked great as a pair, you know, and we, we didn't concede many goals. Um, and that was down to Keith and Terry's, you know, attributes and good defending skills. Now, Peter just stole my thunder there. Yeah, you know, you're back in coaching at Tottenham, because I was going to ask you, because some, some uh, coaches and footballers like to take a break into football. Yeah. Are you the sort of guy that just wants to go straight back in? Well, uh, yeah, yes and no. Um, I mean, it's, it is, I think I've been at work once before when I left Bristol. Um, and you're never quite sure what's around the corner, but um, sometimes it's good to have a little break. I mean, I've had six years of being an assistant, and, and the pressure does get you, without a doubt. So sometimes it's good to just to clear your head a little bit. Um, I've gone into Tottenham to swell out just to see different people work. you always got to learn, you've got to move on in the game. So um, I'm going to have a holiday next week. I promise the family I'll take them away for a week's holiday. And then really when I get back from that, um, let's see what's out there. Obviously there's not many jobs out there at the moment. So uh, I've got to be patient. But uh, no, I'm, I'm looking to get back into the game as soon as possible. Okay, great stuff. Simon, tell us what you're up to. Yeah, as I said earlier, working at a school um, with young adults with autism, supporting them in their daily living um, and hopefully making a difference. Gents, can I say to you both, on behalf of the football club, you're always welcome at Griffith Park and it's great to see you here this afternoon. Thanks very much. Take care. See you later.